Hey everyone, Chef Jason Hill here, and I'm so fortunate to be down in Laguna Beach, and we're gonna be cooking pizzas on the big green egg with my friend Brian here. Great. Brian, what do we got going on? Well, we got a nice spread out here. We got some buffalo mozzarella. We got some basil, some beautiful uh, tomatoes from your father-in-law's uh, house, homegrown. We've got some artichokes here, some fresh onions. We've got some black olives. We've got some green olives, some mushrooms, and some nice peppers. We've also got a nice selection of uh, meat here. We've got some pepperoni. We've got some salami and some mortadella and some Canadian bacon, some capicola. And we also have some uh, sliced up garlic. Got some nice shredded uh, Parmigiano Romano over here. Got some shredded mozzarella, some cheddar cheese. And then we've got some nice uh, sausage over here that we cooked a little bit earlier today. We grilled it up. We got some hot and some mild. We also got some, uh, some pork that we uh, actually smoked earlier today. We let it smoke all night. So this will be a, a nice little additive to the topping that, uh, then we've got some nice sausage. You wanna explain those? Okay, this sauce here is actually pureed tomatoes from my father-in-law's garden. And then we also have a canned version of San Marzano uh, tomatoes, which is a product of Italy that I picked up. And the only thing I did with this was puree it and added a little bit of salt. So let's get started and build our first pizza. Okay, what we're gonna be doing here is basically like a coal-fired pizza. And Brian has got this set to what, about 650 degrees? Right now we're sitting at 650, which is uh, it's a little bit hot. By the time we get ready to put the pizza on, it'll be right about 600. I've got the damper closed down a little bit. Uh, what we've done here is we've opened the bottom uh, damper all the way up, get maximum airflow into this big green egg. We've also got the top damper open just about all the way with the, um, with the three slots. I've dampered it down just a little bit because I was over 700 degrees here a few minutes ago. And uh, let me show you the inside of this big green egg. So first we'll take a quick burp on it. With this hot a temperature, you'll get a backdraft if you don't. It's a lot of heat, so be careful opening it up. What we have is the ceramic plate setter right on top. We're gonna put our pizza right on top of that. Once we pull it out, it's gonna be good to go. Nice crispy, nice charred crust right on the bottom of it. Okay, we've got two different types of pizza dough going on here. One that I made from scratch, and if you want the recipe, click here. It is a no-knead pizza dough. Okay, you can see our work surface here it has a lot of flour, and that's what you want. You want to get your dough covered with extra flour. And then I just kind of like to start poking it in the middle, working my way out around to the edges. Give it a turn, some more flour. And then from this point, I just want to stretch it out a little bit, so I kind of just rotate it. You don't want to work it too, too much. You have very little pullback right here. So nothing fancy, just a little rustic pizza dough. Okay, we're gonna start with some sauce on the pizza dough. Broccoli. Spread it around to the edges. I'll get a little bit more on there, not a whole bunch more. All right. Okay, let's load some cheese on here. Okay. Some mozzarella shredded. And a little bit of our Pecorino Romano. We fresh shredded this earlier today. Look at how beautiful that is. That is a great Italian cheese. Okay, let's load up some of these sausages over here. Okay, so, so we got a hot and we got a mild over here. Why don't we put a few of each? Okay. We pre-grilled those earlier today. Pizza's only gonna be in the oven about 10 minutes. Okay, how about some pepperoni and maybe some of that Italian bacon? Okay. I got this specialty uh, pepperoni at the uh, Italian deli here. Okay, and the bacon. Bacon. Bacon's good on everything. I put bacon in my cereal. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do a little bit of sliced capicola here. Nicely thin slice. Now that's a pizza. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's get this in the big green egg. Let's do it. Look at that. 
Okay, let's put this one on. All right, let's go. Again, this is real hot, so you might want to use some kind of thermal glove when you're loading up your pizza in here. I just use a uh, pit mitt, basically, so it gives you a little extra added protection when you're working with this high a temperature. Awesome. I'll set the timer. Okay, after eight minutes, I think we're ready to pull it off. Let's open it up and check it out. Oh, yeah. Oh, that looks good. Why don't you give me a little pickup on the... There you go. Okay, basically, we're going to go ahead and take it and put it right here on the... Cutting board. Oh, give off. me a little bit of a spatula. That one looks great. All right, let's try this. All right, let's do it. <laughs> wow. It's good. The crust is amazing. Mm. Well, I think all of our pizzas turned out great, and I just want to say thanks again, Brian, for showing us how to do pizzas on the big green egg. You're welcome. Thanks for the opportunity. It's been all a right, pleasure. Man. Take care. Thanks for watching.